transparency and the principle of equality of access to environmental information. The main challenge is guaranteeing equality of access and comprehension of environmental information. There is essentially a need for greater civil society engagement in the development of managing capacities and in greater ethical engagement of those who have power over information. We can see here the knowledge cycle, information created, it must be understood, perfected in order to influence behavior. This knowledge cycle needs to be respected in order to respect the spirit of the law of access to information, environmental information, and education. Here is Rio de Janeiro's polluted Guanabara Bay. Here is a citizen swimming in that said pollution. We wonder how the person has access to information on water quality. He can either access the INEA, the State Institute of the Environment's website, which publishes the water quality information once a week, or he can purchase the local newspaper, O Globo, that publishes it daily. Unfortunately, the underprivileged population, those with, without access to greater educational opportunities, do not have the cultural habit of purchasing the newspaper and are not aware of the fact that they can access the INEA website. In this sense, it would be far smarter and more in spirit of the law for dissemination of water quality on social media networks. Uh, also, there's a municipal law stating that there must be signage on water quality on all beaches. This, of course, has not been respected. In Mariana, Minas Gerais, where in 2015 Brazil's greatest environmental disaster occurred due to a variety of factors, there was no contingency plan by the company San Marco. And we wonder if, had the population had greater access to educational opportunities, including environmental education, and were they aware, more, made more aware of their civic rights, perhaps they would have demanded that the company present the contingency plan publicly for consultation under online so that people might present suggestions or criticisms and hence reduce the loss of human life and of environmental damages. Here, the key legal issue here is providing quality of access to information and guaranteeing that it is both widespread and understood. As Machado in 2005 underlined, is that it needs to become truly accessible to people. And through this, we need to establish procedures, bodies, deadlines, and systematization, organization, and standardization of databases so that it becomes information becomes fully a mechanism of popular participation. That is the spirit of the law. So in this in case, in the case of the Guanabara Bay, allowing the citizen to go and doing a simple search online for water quality in Pinema Beach and finding the information rather than having to know in advance to go to the INEA website. And this without mentioning foreign visitors who have no idea where to find said information. The spirit of the law of access to information, access to environmental information, environmental education and education need to consider, in order to be proper, per, properly interpreted, both cultural and local cultural habits. For example, in Brazil, poor people have cell phones, but they don't habitually buy a newspaper. Hence, it's best, perhaps, to disseminate information about water quality via social networks. Education. The poor population is not aware that, by law, the public prosecutor or any individual can make a case, so they don't exercise this right. Just to give an example, in Mariana, where the disaster occurred, of a population of 54,000, only 3,900 had a complete college education. Almost 50% of people more than 10 years old had no instruction and had an incomplete primary school education. That's a huge under educational gap that needs to be filled.
looking toward the future, we need to ensure basic education includes ICT skills and environmental training for all learners to acquire skills, ensure ICT access implementation in environmental education, in national education and ICT policies, and this needs to include infrastructure implementation and promoting lower cost access to ICTs through public-private partnerships. And finally, promoting private rights of action so that citizens might exercise their right to create a case in the event of a violation of the law. Digital inclusion is key to the success of all this. As we have said, the internet is a fundamental right, and in order to realize fully accessible and inclusive digitality, we need to ensure that all regions are equally accessed, accessible by internet, which might mean in implementing uh, satellites through public-private partnerships so that people in remote and forest areas might easily and inexpensively access information.